Hey guys, Gray here, and I'm doing a review on the Green Guardsman figure from the Justice Guild of America. Personally, this one it was one of my favorites out of everyone. He actually seemed like the least kind of a dick in that episode to a degree, and I love Green Lantern. I love everything about them, and I actually tried making his ring multiple times. I'll do another video on all the different variations and try seeing which one of you guys like the rings it the best. But yeah, um, he's powerless against anything aluminum, which nowadays in this century, everything is aluminum. I, I think half the stuff in my room out of my collection is actually made out of aluminum. You gotta love that they recycle it and that stuff is so easily nowadays. And they based him off of the... Alan Scott figure. Not much of a difference, really. If you think about it, like the belt's different, the symbol of the chest, the costume is basically the same, the cowl's the same. But yeah, um, they change his hair, they change the the cowl, but there are downsides to him. Um, the cape always kind of folds inwards. Yeah, there's nothing you can do about that. And he can only turn his head to certain degrees with the cape. And even then, it kind of pops his neck out. Um, and he can only move his arm up this high. And if he goes back, it does this every time. Um, I love how they designed the boots, though. They lost the tassels, though, for that Alan Scott image since they were trying to make a duplicate of that. Yeah, and his costume is a little bit more modernized than it was original basic. So he's not wearing a suit, basically, that Alan Scott turned into another costume from a costume party from his younger years. Yeah. But would I recommend this figure? 100%. And I love the fact that they actually paint the ring onto his finger. Like they took the time and energy to actually paint the right symbol onto his hand, which is very tiny. Yeah. They got all the details right and they didn't mess up the eyes. It, it, that's amazing. Like some of the other characters, and I'll mention it in, I'll, when I do Tom and Turbine later. Um, they mess up the eyes a lot. It's actually kind of creepy. But would I recommend this figure? 100%. Green Guardsman is one of my OG favorites. But that's because, like, for instance, originally I wanted to do Green Guardsman as, um, as my uh, YouTube name. But someone already had it, so I decided to go with Grey because I ha had that ring and not, no one else chose to use it yet. Uh, but, yeah, I would totally recommend this, and it's a great thing that they based him off of Alan Scott, just like how they based the streak off of Jay Garrick, and Black Siren off of Black Canary, and Tom Turbine off of Hawkman, but I'll mention that again later in the next video, but yeah, and one of the few things I loved that he wasn't kind of a dick in that series more so than anybody else, other than protecting Seaboard City, he actually, when Hawkgirl was with him, she wanted to destroy the thing that the villains was riding because, but Green Guardsman stopped her because it's a piece of their history. So the thing that was stolen from the museum, he stopped from getting destroyed. Because he didn't care if the villain got destroyed and beat. He cared that the thing that they, the villain was stealing was still intact. Which was his main job. He wasn't caring that the villain was getting away. He was caring that, hey, the thing that was stolen needs to stay intact while they're catching the villain. I mean, like, you gotta give props there, like, where props are due. It really, really does matter with the small details for superheroes. That's one of the few things that got me into it. But yeah, I hope you guys like the video and subscribe. Have a nice day.